as yearbook advisor, I worry about where do I store student photos while maintaining student privacy. I could go old school and go with a filing cabinet, but this keeps me and my students in one room with one person using one item at a time. This is a problem. My school site creates their yearbook in Google Slides, 100 pages, full color, for less than $10. But I still worry about student privacy. And so I start thinking, even when parents complete a photo video release form, where am I going to put their images? One option for storing student images is Google Photos. In Google Photos, we can edit the image and apply filters, do cropping. We can use facial recognition. We can add pictures into albums and we can even add comments. But here's the problem. Google Photos is not a core app. Or we can use the second option, which is a much safer Google Drive. In Google Drive, I can prevent editors from changing access and adding people. In Google Drive, I can take it one step further. I can go to an individual picture and click on Share and go to Advanced Settings. And I can disable options to download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. However, I do not have the ability to edit a picture within Drive without using a third-party app. I could do it in Slides. I can click on the picture, click on Image Options, and I can recolor. I can just parent, see brightness, contrast. But this feels limited after seeing the beauty of Google Photos. Thankfully, a third option exists. Imagine a pyramid organizational chart with the teacher on top. At the next level are trusted student editors. Their job is to upload photos, edit them, and use the AI description features for facial recognition. At the bottom of the chart is the rest of the class. These students are the yearbook graphic designers who access the Google Drive folder via Google Classroom. As these students demonstrate responsibility and positive digital citizenship, they earn editing access to Google Photos. In Google Photos, the teacher will share the album with trusted students. These trusted student editors can upload the pictures, add facial recognition, and edit. The teacher will then go into Google Drive and select the settings icon. She will select settings and scroll down before check marking automatically put your Google Photos into a folder in My Drive. The teacher will then grab the link for that folder, get a shareable link. Anyone in Slides Yearbook with the link can view, copy this link, and go to the Slides Yearbook Google Classroom. The teacher will create an assignment and click on the hyperlink. The teacher will paste that link and assign. Now, student Patty has already been added as a co-teacher and I still need to add Pedro. I click on the about and I select invite teachers. I type Pedro's email address. Pedro will then see a message that says, you're invited to teach this class and accept. Student Adriana will go to her assignment, open it, and create her Google Slides. She must first open the link to the Google Photos Drive. Before she opens her document, changes the page size, and inserts those images by clicking on Google Drive, Shared With Me.
Should Adriana ever be unenrolled from the class, she will no longer have access to those photos. Why do I want student editors to be co-teachers? Simple. I want them to do the work. Pedro can click on the assignment and look at the work. Pedro can write comments. Adriana can see this comment and do as told. Control Alt J. Control Alt J. Control Alt J. Control Alt J. Let's make it clear, G Suite for Education should make Google Photos a core service with school level sharing permissions. Even with the needed change, however, the organizational structure discussed in this video allows gradual release of responsibility to students. It allows student leaders to edit and use facial recognition in Google Photos as well as provide feedback in Google Classroom. It allows the remaining students to slowly earn the same photo editing privilege. For years, I have shared a Google Drive folder with students. I argued against Google Photos because I feared the one student who would share an image outside of the class. But we must train our students to be responsible. As a yearbook advisor, I feel more confident sharing images with students using this structure. The best answer for yearbook photo storage is not choosing between Google Photos and Google Drive. Rather, it is combining photos with Drive with Classroom.